Hello everybody, Yannick here for Yannick's Photo School and today I'm going into my reader email bag and uh, looking at a question that you guys had that is very pertinent. I actually asked myself that, questions, that question a few years ago and uh, I found a solution. So basically your question is this, how come when I save my image from Photoshop onto my computer, um, I look at the, the saved image and I look at what I see in Photoshop and it's not the same colors. Actually the colors are a bit more saturated on the saved image and the blacks are a bit blacker. So whether you view it on your computer or on the web, that's what it's going to be like. Part two to that question is how can I solve this by um, getting the right color space in Photoshop right away so I can post-process my image with the right colors for computer or monitor or um, or the web and uh, I'll be answering that question right now for you guys now let's look at an example here this is an image that I've just opened up in Photoshop I haven't played with it or anything like that and this is the same image boom that we see in the Windows picture and facts viewer which is the default picture viewer in Windows um, I'm not sure about Max, but you guys can look at that there too. So we can see that the uh, right image that we see in the default Windows um, uh, picture viewer is more saturated and the blacks are blacker. If you look at the side of the glass, the bottom here, the blacks are a lot blacker than on, than on the left image. So of course this is a problem because if you had um, post-processed your image to look this way and you don't want it that saturated then you're screwed so uh, how can we set things up in Photoshop so that you can actually see the image this way and then you can post-process it the way you want and you'll know that the output image will be exactly what will be seen on your computer and on the web alright it's actually fairly simple um, let me just close this image here come back to our image now, basically it has to do with the proof setup that we see here under the view menu option. If I click on that, the first one on top is called proof setup and a sub menu appears. And you got a whole bunch of proof setups. That's used mostly for printing. Now in our case, we're not printing. We're just saving it on our computer and or uploading it to the web and we want to make sure the colors are correct. So by default, um, Photoshop puts it to Windows RGB. Um, but what we need to select is Monitor RGB. Now, if you select it, it will always uh, have a check mark there. So you think that by default, all your images will be opened with Monitor RGB. Unfortunately, that's not true. All right? So we actually have to go there every time we open an image go into view proof setup and click on monitor RGB or you can save yourself the headache and create a shortcut key I'll show you how to do that in a second actually that could be a whole other video um, but uh, I'll show it to you quickly here and you can see it'll put the, the shortcut right here for me it's F1 so it, it only took a few days for me to get used to it every time I open an image now in Photoshop I press F1 before I start post processing my images so, uh, since you don't have a shortcut key, view, proof, setup, monitor RGB. As you can see, the colors are now more contrasted. The blacks are blacker. If I pull up my uh, wi Windows Viewer image, you can see that the colors are exactly the same. And this would be my starting point before uh, post-processing my image. And I'll know that my output image will be exactly what I see in Photoshop. Now, how to s quickly set up that shortcut key? You got to go into Edit, Keyboard Shortcuts, and uh, basically you have to fiddle through the menu here and look for the View menu. Select that, open it up. Proof Setup shows up here, and you can see Monitor RGB down here. There's an F1 key, and here you just type in the key you want. Uh, and after that you just click on accept and then OK and you're done and you have your shortcut. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial on getting the correct colors 
in Photoshop exactly what you see for the web and your computer. This is Yannick from Yannick's Photo School signing out. See you later. Bye-bye.